cooking. You sing a different hook if you don't like what you're cooking. You get a different cook if you don't like what you're wearing. You get a different look. You want to escape Armageddon? Read a different book. Your knowledge is right there. We don't even look. December 2012 got this whole world shook. But look, the last days for others are the first days for us. The question to ask is who can you trust? Respect to all that 2012 stuff. But when you really study it, it's fear. It don't apply to us. Yo, Hollywood lies to us all day. The question is what is your culture say? Where's your culture at? Who's your prophet? What history guides your spiritual logic? It starts with a story, then it's hypnotic. Then any myth that comes along, you just adopt it. And why? Because your culture, you forgot it. December 2012, let's continue this topic. Turn the page. The present world age began 3,114 BC. According to the Mayan calendar, this age concludes December 21st, 2012 AD. This 5,125 year cycle of time is one world age. Nothing changes overnight. It's all a process, a transition. It happens over many days. In the Mayan calculation, a kin is one day. The Mayan you and all, that's 20 days. The tune is 360 days. The cop tune is 7,200 days. The bop tune is 144,000 days. They saw the sun moving across the Milky Way's equator, lining up with other galactic neighbors. We've been shifting for 30 years, it seems, from 1980 to about 2016. The shift is now, it's occurring now. But if you're learning from the movies, you won't know how to survive or stay alive after the storm. Cause after that, a new world order is born. Oh, you don't know, man? How about they programs? You still watching Lindsay? You don't see that low hand? Let's go, man. The flood is coming. Don't be scared. Get prepared. Keep your mouth. In the Aztec year one read. That's the year Quince Colat was prophesied to return from exile. In fact, Cortez played out the Aztec myth and took away those people's will to resist. Cortez played on religious beliefs and blinded the Aztecs because he was a thief. Look, the Yucatan, that's a mind book of cycles. It lets the minds know when the gods are gonna strike you. In fact, every 13 cartoons you see, the minds are visited with a catastrophe. So every 200 or 56 or seven years, the Mayan people live with this fear. So on the island of Tyasaur, now Flores, the Spanish came on with this knowledge. They knew, according to the Mayan heavens, that the next cycle was 1697. So as the Mayans stood there fixed on the heavens, the Spanish showed up with all of their weapons. March 13th, 1697, the Mayan people learned a terrible lesson. Your fears and tears are used against you, because 80% of world control is mental. But back to the Mayans, they're getting some more. 257 years after Tyre saw a U.S. back coup overthrows their democracy in 1954. That's exactly 257 years from when the Spaniards arrived at their shores. I'm getting to the core of the lesson. Let's see what happens in 2211. That's the next cycle. The people remember, like 2012 to 21st of December, the consciousness may shift. You may turn the light, but you are. Consciousness, but you know all this. The edutainment style will persist. Forget the fear. It's knowledge that runs all this. Rock that shit. Rock that. Rocking them drums. Do your thing.